everyone! My name is Miss Christine and I'm a librarian at the wonderful Woodlawn Library and I'm here with you today to share with you some of my favorite picture books by First Nations authors in celebration of Native American Heritage Month. All of the books today are own voices stories, which means that the authors are members of the community portrayed in the book. This is very important because it means that the stories are authentic. Are you ready to hear about some great stories to read? Let's start with two board books for our youngest readers. The first one is called Hello Humpback by Roy Henry Vickers and Robert Budd. And this is a beautifully illustrated rhyming book that features the animals and the settings of the Pacific Northwest. And I'm gonna lean in a little bit so you can so you can try to see this. There's these cool and shiny raised tactile elements on each page that add some additional sensory fun. The next one is called Little You, and it's by Richard Van Camp and illustrated by Julie Flett. Both this author and this illustrator are extremely talented, so I would recommend pretty much anything either of them has ever done. This is all about the joy that every baby brings with them when they come into a family. And it's just beautiful and poetic and perfect to share with your littlest readers. All right, speaking of babies, next we have First Laugh, Welcome Baby by Rose Ann Taki and Nancy Bo Flood, illustrated by Jonathan Nelson. First Laugh, Welcome Baby is centered around the Navajo or Diné tradition of the First Laugh celebration, which is a child's first formal welcome into a family and clans. Since the person who succeeds in making the baby laugh first begins a special relationship with the child and has the honor of hosting the first laugh ceremony, everyone in the family competes to be the one to make a new baby laugh. Who succeeds? You're gonna have to read it to yourself to find out. This book also has fabulous back matter, not only about the first laugh ceremony, but about welcoming ceremonies for babies from many different cultures all around the world. All right, and our next story is titled, You Hold Me Up. It's written by Monique Gray Smith and illustrated by Danielle Daniel. And they're an author and an illustrator that have written other wonderful stories as well that you can check out. So You Hold Me Up describes different ways in which everyone can support children's development. And in doing that, it really explores how we hold each other up as well. The author writes that this is a book about love, building relationships, and fostering empathy. So it's good at any time, but especially now. Our next story is titled Stolen Words. It's written by Melanie Florence, illustrated by Gabrielle Grimard. This story starts with a little girl coming home from school and asking her grandfather how to say grandfather in Cree. When he tells her he doesn't remember, she's confused until he shares with her his experience as a boy of forced assimilation in residential schools. The next day, she brings home a book of Cree that she found in her school library. And as he carefully thumbs through it, he begins to remember. This book is available in a bilingual Plains Cree and English edition and includes a glossary and a pronunciation guide in the back. In Sometimes I Feel Like a Fox, written and illustrated by Danielle Daniel, this book explores the Ashinaabe tradition of animal totems. It features 12 different animal totems and all of their characteristics and meanings are explored. This book also has an author's note that further explains the tradition. Next up is We Are Grateful, Ojali Heiliga by Tracy Sorrell, illustrated by Frenet Lissac. This book is perfect for this type, 
time of the year because it explores Ojali Heliga, which is a Cherokee expression of gratitude. It begins in fall during the Cherokee New Year and goes throughout each season, highlighting traditions and celebrations during the year. Cherokee words are also featured throughout the story. And in the back is a Cherokee syllabary to help with pronunciation and learning of the language. Many of the books featured today were winners or honorees of the American Youth Literature Award. Please make sure to look them up on the internet. And if you'd like to put any of these books on hold or to look for more great books to read to celebrate Native American Heritage Month, please visit our website at www.bcpl.info. Thanks again.